This is the Lamina 2 plans video. The base measures is 9 inches by 7 inches and is about 3 quarters thick. The rubber feet on the bottom of the base keep any surface the engine is on from being scratched by the one bolt that runs through the base. The flywheel support column is a piece of wood that measures 1 inch by 1 inch by 2 and a half inches. The whole base has been spray painted with this textured spray paint. The center of the hole drilled through the flywheel support column is 1 and 3 quarters of an inch on the base. The diameter of the drilled hole is 5 sixteenths of an inch. I've glued two bearings into the support column. These bearings measure 8 by 5 by 2.5 millimeters. I found these bearings at Target. They are manufactured by Radline for RC cars. Target doesn't seem to sell these anymore, but I found another pack on eBay. Hobby shops are a good source for bearings as well. The flywheel is made of steel and is 3 inches in diameter by 3 sixteenths of an inch. The shaft of the flywheel is made of aluminum. The thicker part that is attached to the steel disc is 1 quarter inch in diameter and is 3 eighths long. The skinnier portion of the shaft is 3 sixteenths and is 1 and 3 eighths long. There is a small hole drilled in the aluminum shaft of the flywheel where the shaft sticks out of the bearing. A broken LED light serves as a cotter pin. There is a 1 16th hole drilled in the steel that is 1 half inch from the center of the flywheel. This 1 16th hole allows a 0 80 bolt to fit through it. This bolt is 5 eighths long and also runs through this 1 8 inch square piece of rod. This square piece of rod is 1 half inch long and has two holes drilled through it. One hole is 1 16th in diameter for the 0 80 bolt and the other is 3 32nds of an inch for the brass rod. The centers of these two holes are about 5 16ths apart. I glued this piece of brass rod into the square rod. The bearing that this brass rod fits into has a 2 millimeter inner diameter. 2 millimeters is slightly smaller than 3 32nds of an inch. I turned down a 3 32nds piece of brass rod with a lathe. So this brass rod is 2 millimeters for 5 16ths of its length and the other 1 8th of length is 3 32nds. I have since purchased some 2mm brass rod through eBay and I found a 2mm drill bit at Harbor Freight. It's a lot easier to cut off a length of 2mm brass rod and fit it into a 2mm hole. This neodymium magnet which is used to balance the weight of the graphite piston is about 3 quarters of an inch in diameter and is 3 30 seconds thick. The weight of the whole flywheel is 212 grams. The four bolts that run through the aluminum support column and the metal washer are 1 inch long number 6-32 bolts. The four holes that were drilled through the steel washer are 1 8 inch in diameter and are 7 8 of an inch apart from each other. The outer diameter of the washer is 1 and 3 quarters of an inch and the inner diameter is 11 16 The outer diameter of the Pyrex test tube is 5 8 of an inch. The inner diameter is 1 half inch. The height of the test tube is 4 inches. Inside the test tube is grade number 3 steel wool. The bulk of the steel wool ends at 3 and 1 quarter inches and a couple little strands stick out another half inch. The piece of brass tubing around the test tube is 21 30 seconds in diameter. It is made by K&S Engineering and can be found at hobby shops or online. This piece of brass is about 5 eighths of an inch long and is located 3 quarters of an inch from the end of the test tube. The orange rubber washers which are attached to the Pyrex test tube are 1 8 inch thick. The outer diameter of each rubber washer is 1 inch and the inner diameter is 9 16 you can find these rubber hose washers at any hardware store such as Home Depot or True Value Hardware. The graphite piston and the cylinder it moves in are part of an actuator I got from AirPot.com. This actuator was about 3 inches long and had a rubber sleeve around it when I first got it. I removed the black rubber sleeve and shortened the glass portion to 1.5 inches. Check out the pistons and cylinders video I uploaded for more info on that process. The actuator came with a low friction bushing at the end which I replaced with a bearing. This bearing measures 2 by 6 by 2.5 millimeters. The connecting rod is about 3 inches long and has a ball joint where the connecting rod connects to the graphite piston. The graphite piston is 1 half inch long and has a diameter of 5 eighths. The metallic end of the actuator came pre-threaded with this nut at the end. The inside of the metal end was much smaller and was threaded as well but I widened the inner diameter to 1 quarter inch. The actuator fits through a 3 eighths hole in the aluminum support column. The center of this hole is 1 and 3 quarters of an inch from the bottom, which is the same height as the center of the hole in the flywheel support column. I added this black rubber o-ring to create an airtight seal between the metal part of the actuator and the aluminum support column. These four holes are 5 30 seconds in diameter and are 7 eighths apart. These two holes are 1 eighth inch in diameter and are about 5 eighths apart. The width of this aluminum support column is 1 and 1 half inches. The height is 2 and 5 eighths 
and the thickness is almost one eighth of an inch. These aluminum brackets are 1 16th thick and are 3 quarters by 1 half by 1 and 1 half inch. The holes drilled through the longer side are 1 inch apart and are 1 quarter inch in diameter. These quarter inch holes are oversized to allow the bracket and the aluminum support column to be moved a little bit to help center the graphite piston with the crank pin and make it so the graphite piston almost touches the metal portion of the actuator. The bolt running through the bracket and the base of the engine is a 1 inch long number 6-32 bolt with a washer on each side of the base. These two bolts here are 3 8 long and are number 4-40 bolts. These fit through two 1 8 inch holes and secure the aluminum support column to the brackets. Alright that's it for this video. All the parts used in the Lamina 2 engine are pretty much the same as the parts I used in the Lamina 1 engine. So check out the Lamina 1 plans video if you need any clarification.